Well, first up, it's time for Pet Corner, and as August is Pet Dental Month, I didn't know I had to clean Alfie's teeth as well, we're joined by Hills Pet Nutrition Vet, Dr Annabelle Robertson, to talk about dental disease and caring for our pet's oral health. Good morning, Dr Annabelle. Good morning. So what is dental disease? It's a broad term that encompasses disease of the teeth, gums and supporting structures of the tooth. And how prevalent is it? Is it just a disease of older pets? No, it's actually the number one health condition of dogs and cats. And according to the World Small Animal Veterinary Association, around 80% of dogs and 70% of cats will have dental disease by age two. So what causes it? Well, it all starts with plaque. Plaque is that fairy stuff that we can feel on our teeth in the morning when we wake up, which is a mixture of saliva and bacteria. And if this isn't removed, it hardens to become tartar. And both these things lead to inflammation and damage to the gums. And if it's not treated, eventually we'll get loss of the teeth. What about bad breath? Is it normal for pets to have bad breath? Certainly not. It's often a sign of tooth and gum disease or teeth and gum disease. Um, but it's a great reason to see your vet because certain disease conditions can also cause it. So why is a healthy mouth important? Well, my cat Minnie sleeps in my bed, often right up near my head. So fresh breath is super important to me. But on a serious note, uh, it's actually an animal welfare issue because dental disease causes painful inflamed gums, tooth decay, tooth loss, and sometimes in advanced cases, even fracture of the jaw. So what signs should a pet owner look out for if a pet has dental disease? Well, an owner may notice material on the tooth, uh, on the teeth, the gums may be red and inflamed. The pet may uh, change its behavior with eating. So they may start chewing on one side of their mouth and there may be drooling and staining to the fur around the mouth as well. And that's why I recommend looking in your pet's mouth at least once a week and also having regular dental checkups six monthly with your vet. What if the pet is still eating though and just doesn't seem to be in pain? So that's a common misconception that pets aren't in pain, but in actual fact, they'll just be trying to hide their pain. It's, and most pets with dental disease will continue to eat their food. Is there anything an owner can do at home to help keep their pet's mouth healthy between vet visits? So good oral care is a combination of regular vet checkups, professional cleans, as well as dental, a daily home care routine as well. Does that mean that I should brush my pet's teeth? Ideally, yes. Uh, daily brushing is really the best thing that you can do to keep your pet's teeth clean. And all you need is a pet toothbrush and pet toothpaste. Just don't use human toothpaste because it can be very toxic. When should an owner start to do this? I recommend starting once the pets lost their baby teeth, around four to six months of age, just to get them accustomed to it early. What if I have trouble brushing my pet's teeth? Is there anything else I can do to care for my pet's teeth at home? Uh, it certainly can be challenging. Um, I found that with my own cat, but fortunately there are a lot of other things we can do such as pet dental treats, chews, oral rinses, as well as pet foods. But it's really important that you look out for the Veterinary Oral Health Council seal of acceptance for both plaque and tartar. Um, and the Science Style Oral Care Dog and Cat Food does have the, have the approved seal for both. And why is this important? Well, anyone can make a claim about dental benefits and the Veterinary Oral Health Council seal means a company has submitted their research for review and validation by a panel of veterinary dental specialists who then decide whether to award the seal for plaque and or tartar. How does science diet oral care work? It's basically an edible toothbrush. So the unique kibble has an innovative texture which prevents the kibble from immediately shattering when bitten into. Instead, the tooth penetrates the kibble and the fibre texture gently scrubs the tooth clean, like a squeegee, before breaking apart. It should only be used in pets over 12 months of age that have good dental health to help protect against plaque and tartar buildup between regular dental checkups. Thank you, Dr Annabelle. Hey Elsie, should we check out some other gorgeous pets that are in need of a new forever home from Friends with Tails? This is Alfie, everyone. He's four and a half months. He's a cocker spaniel but I might just be tempted, he's been such a good boy, I might just be tempted to grab one of these myself. How about Happy Bradley, who is the one and a half year old Staffy, who can walk on a lead, loves walks and car rides, and would prefer a home with older children and to be the only dog of the house. Oh, not for us then, Alfie. What about the 10 month old uh, JLo the Lab, Kelpie Cross? She's gorgeous, she's had her vaccines and been de-sexed and microchipped. 
And who couldn't fall for the smile of Buzz, the two-year-old greyhound cross who needs someone to continue his training and take him on adventures. Buzz will need a cat and stock-free environment. What about the great-natured RZA? I suppose that's Razor, the two-year-old mixed breed who loves being around the family and will need regular walks and exercise. And if you're looking to add a cat to your family, then how about three-month-old Freddy the Tabby? He's a special wee guy, but nervous and unsure, so we'll need some patience and a home without any dogs. Meet brother and sister Avery and Andrea, who are four months. Avery is more confident and playful, and Andrea loves cuddles. This pair need to be home together. And four-month-old Oliver is looking for a new home. He's a bit shy and would do better in a home with older kids. Finally, our rescue pet of the week is one and a half year old Winston or Winnie. I wonder where that name was inspired from. Winnie is handsome, super intelligent and a real snuggler. Hmm, maybe not. His hobbies are eating, drooling, hanging with his family and playing. And he's going to need an experienced dog owner with patience and lots of training, but he will reward you with those hugs. I can tell you that puppy cuddles are the best. Alfie, I'm wearing a microphone. They won't be able to hear me. If you think you can provide a forever home for any of our featured pets this morning, go to friendswithtails.co.nz and Pet Corner is sponsored by the Hills Pet Nutrition Food, Shelter and Love Program. So much love from our animals.